We have a fantastic problem and the solution requires a few interesting steps in order to solve it. Can you see what they might be? Don't forget to leave a comment below if you find an alternative solution. We want to find the area of the shaded region of the shape. Let's call it a crescent. As a general idea on how to solve this problem, we can consider the crescent to be made by removing a circular area from the large circle, leaving the remaining blue crescent. So in order to solve this, we need to find the area of the smaller cutout circle, which we can also think of as a white circle, and subtract that area from the whole area of the larger blue circle. For the area of the circle, we need to know its radius and apply the formula for the area, which you will recall is pi times the square of the radius. Because the value of pi is known, this question boils down to a problem where we need to find the radii of the respective circles. Now, it wasn't made explicit in the original question sent to me, but I think it's safe to assume that the lines here lie on the diameter of the larger circle and intersect at 90 degrees. Let's now locate the center of each circle. In these types of questions where circles are involved, I find that a good strategy is to find a right triangle and work from there. In this case, we can construct the following right triangle, where we have the radius of the smaller circle, lowercase r, this line segment here, y, which forms part of the radius of the larger circle, and this line segment here, x, which is the distance between the centers of the circles. Let's see if we can find the length of x first. We can label the radius of the smaller circle here and here. What we now see is that the radius plus the radius plus 18 is equal to the diameter of the larger circle. This sets up the following equation. Diameter of the large circle is equal to 2r plus 18. Therefore, the radius of the large circle is equal to half of that, which is r plus 9. So therefore, x must be 9. So far, so good. Let's look at finding the value of y. We know that the length of the radius of the larger circle is r plus 9. So the value of y must be the length of the radius of the larger circle minus 10. This gives us the following equation, which we can simplify to y equals r minus 1. Right, now we have everything we need to work out r. Remember, we have this right triangle, so we can use Pythagoras to solve for r. c squared equals a squared plus b squared, where c is the radius, a is r minus 1, and b is 9. So we have r squared equals the square of r minus 1 plus 9 squared. This simplifies to r squared equals r squared minus 2r plus 1 plus 81. Subtract r squared from both sides and add 2r to both sides, leaving 2r equals 82. Divide by 2, so we are left with the radius of the smaller circle, which is equal to 41. Recall that the radius of the larger circle was equal to the radius of the smaller circle plus 9, so that gives us a final value of 50. Now we have both radii. Let's now find the areas of the two circles. Recall the formula pi r squared, so for the smaller circle, the area is pi times 41 squared, which gives us 1,681 pi. For the larger circle, the area is pi times 50 squared, which gives us 2,500 pi. Now we're ready to solve the problem. The area of the crescent shape is the area of the larger circle minus the area of the smaller circle, which is 2,500 pi minus 1,681 pi which gives us 819 pi, or 2,572.96 square units, that's to two decimal places. Awesome question.